Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're revisiting this salt shield for the snowmobile trailer. It's been about a year, roughly. Well, maybe a little bit longer than that. I don't remember if I did this last year or the year before. Year before, because I didn't do any shows last year because I was student teaching. So, this has been on here for two years. And, uh, it's done okay. It, uh, operates exactly as I designed it to do. It keeps the snowmobiles dry and free of salt, which was the main goal, just to keep them free of salt from the road when you're going to shows and stuff. So, the only bad thing is it's not very aerodynamic and you sure as heck will feel it after a long day of pulling. It, it gets pretty pretty rough on your back and it's rough on the truck too of course so what we what we're gonna do is I want to try to make it angled you know, into a point so that way I'll maybe cut the wind a little better so I've removed all of the old boards from the sides and the front and also what I want to do is because the original idea was to actually lift lift the hatch up so you could drive your machines off. Well, this thing's way too dang heavy to lift it up by yourself with full of the lumber. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a door on the front of the front side that'll swing open and uh, we'll be able to get our machines, drive them right off because it just sucks turning them around on this stupid trailer after a long day of sitting out in the cold especially. So uh, let's get started. Let's keep taking her apart. I got a, one more board here and some of this hardware to get off. So let's get started. We're gonna be doing this like Monster Garage style, man. Bam. Okay, here's the sit rep. I uh, have successfully cut these, this front half, or front section in half. Unfortunately, angles are a little bit longer than a straight line so I have to redo all of the horizontal cross members <sighs> oh well I kind of expected that so basically all of this is junk except for the uprights or vertical <laughs> cross members so we're gonna get started here and start disassembling and cutting and doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Can you guys hold this board for me? Appreciate it. Where'd my battery go? Okay, we kind of got our foundation in here. This is basically what it's going to look like, though, at least the bottom piece. Um, that gap there is where the door is going to be. And it's going to have to swing out, which is going to be a problem. Because, well, let me, let me measure the hitch real fast. I'm pretty sure that is more than 43 inches. The reason it's 43 inches is to accommodate the width of the ramp. Let's see. Peak. Oh yeah. 
35 inches. So 35 plus maybe. Another. Let's say we'll call it a 10. So that's 45. That's going to be dang close. So. From this point. So it's going to be for it's going to be really really tight. So I guess what I'll just have to do is like at a show for example just turn the wheel of the truck far left and at a, and park on an angle basically which I've done before. You kind of got to do that with the ramp anyways. So that's where we're at. My next step is to start building up and I will be going from there. So, yeah. Well, there comes a point where you just gotta call her quits for the day. And I think I've exceeded that point by about an hour. I'm pooped and the batteries on my tools are running out, so it's time to quit. This is how far we've gotten. Um, I'd like to do at least one more support there on the right in the middle. My uh, two foot spacing is slightly off. And on the left I have to create the structure for the door and I have to figure out how to tie in the ends. But this is the basic structure of it. And I think it'd be a little bit more aerodynamic. So it's not it's not too bad. It's a little bit flimsy. It'll uh, it'll fix itself when uh, I have the uh, the paneling back on. It'll, get, it'll gain a lot of structural integrity. So, anyways, that's where we're at. Day one. Well, good morning. I should say good afternoon. It's twelve o'clock. I didn't feel like coming out any earlier. It was kind of cold this morning. Gotta go in the house at one o'clock because they're gonna test the stupid air raid horns. I hate those damn things. But anyways, in reviewing this project, every good teacher reviews before continuing. I have made a series of fairly grave tactical errors. Um, the right side looks pretty good. I have a little, a little bit of straightening on that middle post. That's easy. The outer ones look pretty darn good. Maybe stick in one or two more for some structural integrity. And then I have the corner to finish. Okay. Right side's pretty good. Let's move to the left. Let's see who can spot. Let's see who can spot my error. Yeah, <laughs> that middle board should be the same as the one on the left, facing the same way. <sighs> and the upright or the angle board is very crooked because of my tactical failure. That's just one, one of the issues. And then I have to attach the middle board. Yeah, that's a disaster. And here we are on the left side, or passenger side. Yeah, that wall should be fairly straight. Fairly, I believe the term is perpendicular to the ground or to the trailer. And yeah, it's not. So I gotta cut that board going across. The two in the middle are okay, I think. So, yeah. And as much as I make jokes about, oh, I sh you should have cut back on drinking the beer and all that, I don't drink. 
That's the funny part. Maybe I should start. Maybe stuff would start looking straighter. I don't know. Jeez. And to top it all off, I whacked my knee pretty good yesterday getting off this trailer, so that hurts. But, oh well, no pain, no gain, right? What was it somebody said? There should be uh, at least, what, how much blood in every job if it's going to be a good job? Yeah, well, I got some right now. So, let's get back to it. Measure, measure once, cut twice, right? bad we suck. I'll take it. Our sexual integrity field just increased by a thousand percent. Boop. I don't know why we're doing that, but that's looking better. Getting a little bit stronger over here well I've done just about everything I can that middle still is a little flimsy uh, just not sure what else I can do I know it's offset you know it's like whatever I'm thinking maybe one or two boards going to that back one but we'll see well we're about as done as we're gonna get with the framing I can't really do much more to increase the structural integrity, so I'm not. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start putting the paneling back on. As you can see, I got the one board there. Um, the sides are going to go right on. That'll be you know, pfft, half hour for both sides, I bet. Then the tricky part's going to come when I start messing with the front, and I still got to build the door.
Well, I just forgot to hit the record button. So I'm an idiot. Basically, um, I'm not good enough to create a beveled edge going here. So we're gonna. I'm just gonna overlap it like this, so that the way the the wind and the water and crap will just go right back there. I don't care about underneath. It'll freeze. And it'll dry. Um, yeah. So we got our first board on here. The only way to keep going is up. I have to make an adjustment to this board. Uh, it's leaning out, but the other two are good. And we'll figure out what we're going to do with the point in a little bit. So here we go. So this was the end I needed. Oops, <laughs> that's the end I just cut off. Classic! Well, after that wildlife education lesson. This is not perfect, but I think it'll work. So. Screwing it down. Oops. I don't like this little gap here, but I'm going to seal it up with some silicone. else I can do. Why don't I just do that? Go around there! Ugh. Well, Mother Nature has decided once again to uh, end my work day early. I did get quite a bit done. All I gotta do left... Oh, All I have to do is finish going up and one more trim strip going across. And then I have to build the door. That's gonna be fun. 
So, and then I'm going to, you know, trim up my mistakes over here. I kind of made a couple tactical errors there, but I'm getting tired, so. But that's that. We're making progress, at least. And, uh, I got to see how long this video is. I might end it here and give you a part two later. But, uh, if not, we'll either see you later or see you next time. <laughs>